Webflow, I'm going to show you how to have multiple pages with different PDF download links. I'll show you how to do that natively in Webflow, or you can also add on some gating if this is protected content. So here you can see we have this main page. So we've got this starter guide, and then we've got this Notion template, and then we've got a roadmap template. So let's take a look at how all this is set up here in Webflow. In Webflow, you're going to want to set up your pages under a folder. So you can see I've added a downloads folder here, given it a home page, which is this main screen here, and then each one of the guides or resources under its own page. I've structured it this way because you can add on uh, member content gating very easily if you structure this from the beginning. So say you start with a free resource site and maybe later down the line, you wanna have some of these as paid products or you just like people to be members to access them. This will make it much easier for you as you work through. So in order to create a new folder, you'd come up to the top here and hit the little button that says create new folder and then call it whatever you would like. So that's how I got the downloads folder. And from there, you can just go ahead and create a new page. It's important to remember when you're creating pages that you be sure you have the downloads button selected as the parent folder. Otherwise, it'll just go under the regular pages. But if you forgot, let me show you how to do that. We just have a blank page. If you still wanted it in downloads, you can drag it in here. Now, if you've done this before you've published your site, you don't need to set up a redirect. If you uh, have already published your site, you will need to set up a redirect URL so that you can ensure the page is viewed properly. Let's go ahead and delete that out. So now that you can see how the page structure is set up, let me show you how we've set up these different guides. Now, of course, if these are all available, you can certainly make each one of these an actual download itself. Again, I've set up separate pages so you can give a little bit more context about what the guide is and that way they maybe they don't want all of them, um, but you can certainly set it up however you would like. This just allows you to set up multiple pages. So if you wanted to have this button be an actual download, you just come click on the button, go under your little gear settings here, and currently it jumps to this page, but you'd come all the way over to the file button and then choose your attachment. So the attachments are uploaded the same as images or Lottie files. And again, I've set up a folder to keep structure consistent. It's a little bit easier to find quickly as well. So to do that, you would just hit again, the new folder button and call it whatever you would like. From here, I just uploaded my PDFs. Keep in mind, you will need to be on a paid Webflow plan or to use the file upload. So you need to be on a paid plan to use the file upload. And as you can see, that is how you, you upload the files. So, if you're here on the button and you would like to make this an attachment, again, you come all the way over to the paperclip file and then choose your attachment. It's default to all assets, but if you need to make it easier, just go to your downloads and you can see very quickly, you can pick from one or the other. Again, be sure that you're naming these guides appropriately, especially because they'll be downloadable files. So you want this to be consistent information that's easy for folks to read when they're downloading them. So. Uh, you would go ahead and pick the applicable file, and now that's what we'll download. So let's take a look. And there you have it. So now you can see for this particular template, we have set it up to jump over to another page, and it will download now here. And there you have it. So that is how you set up multiple pages in Webflow to download individually linked PDFs. And again, you can certainly add a gated content or membership resource on top of this, like member stack or Outseta or member space. And we have other tutorials to set those up if you're interested. I hope this helps. Can't wait to see what you do with it.